was a virgin. I was just going to say, that was from mostly from the episode of The Village Virgin. And yeah, we the, to... the opening episode, yeah. Yes. We need to talk about the time that we didn't have uh, a sister Agnes. There were some technical problems, and we did <laughs> not have an actress. And so and then... made me play <laughs> Sister Agnes. Hi, Drax slash Sister Agnes. <laughs> I think we all took a shot at playing Sister Agnes. I know I did it for one of the recordings. Um, we just one of the fun things with this is because we have so many different actors coming in and out. Uh, we we can't always get everybody on the same evening to record. And uh, the the one great actress we had uh, uh, helping us out, uh, uh, November Iva slash Malone. Uh, her her Skype kept going down, so we would only get like half her sentences, half her lines. <laughs> and then we like, Dave, just just read Sister Agnes for us. Yeah, you're like, yeah, you've got to be Agnes. I was like, no, I, I don't. <laughs> but I, the, all I could think to do was uh, my Brian Johnson from ACDC. So I was just like, hey, hug it out, bitches. <laughs> <laughs> and I have that recorded. Yeah, you did a great job even there. Yeah, I think the I think in the script it describes her as um, her voice sounded as if uh, uh, what was it Tom Tom Waits made out with uh, Brenda Vaccaro or something <laughs> something Let's like name that. Two yes. people that nobody even knows who the hell they are anymore. But uh, yeah, it was. Uh, uh, but but Elise stepped in and, and uh, got to play that for us, and and uh, she's in the opening episode as the village virgin that Dracula seduces in the very first episode. Um, and then we also, we got to give love. Uh, by the way, and that was actual recordings that, here's the danger of working with, with uh, Zombie Zack. Um, we, we've worked on many, many things together over, over the, the past decade. And uh, we did Magic Farmers together. Magic Farmers Incorporated, which was a, was a fun comedy thing that we worked on together. But I learned... Uh, even just from being on this show, even before you go on the air, he records everything. Firm believer in it. He's he's worse than like freaking Watergate tapes. I mean, he just he has everything recorded. So if you ever screw up, it's 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 there. <laughs> and those were from actual recording sessions that we do. I have to give it a little bit of perspective. So we have nine episodes. Each of those episodes are going to be about 8 to 10 minutes long. I have 15 hours worth of recording so far, and we still have some more to do. <laughs> that doesn't surprise me. I should have screwed up more. Yes, because there would have been more funny bits that I could throw in. Oh, man. That's what you get for being so damn good and so damn professional. I you don't get to be in the blooper reels. It's a curse. It's we'll t- we'll take you aside for a bit and make make curse. you make some curses. You got to learn how to bloop. <laughs> you got to bloop. bloop. You got to bloop it up. We'll all bloop in a bit. In a bit but, we'll bloop. Uh, yeah, uh, uh, ZZ will pull out these recordings from just years later and play. I was like, remember when you did this? You're like, oh, my God, you have that. <laughs> you know, so yes. that's how it's gotten rich. You know, he, he sends you these little emails every once in a while, and I will play it. You and know, maybe so I already pay. have. Yeah, and then if you know to stop him, you got to pay him cash, Canadian. On top <laughs> yes, of that. has to be in Canadian because you know that stuff is colorful. So uh, to keep him from uh, embarrassing you and you're ruining your career. So but... somewhere up there is that funky wear pig song I sang you, huh? I still have that. Okay. I still have that. That was one of my that was a, one of my most treasured moments ever. That you was, and the singing. <laughs> that well, it was beautiful. It was, you know, I mean, uh, not to get off uh, off subject and, and do the back padding thing myself, but uh, it was my very last show. I I had done seven years worth of shows every Friday night, and it was I was wrapping up and doing my very last Funky Wear Pig show, and and uh, I thought there'd be like two listeners, like no one gave a shit anymore. And 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 uh, uh, EW, um, the the dude who owns the TMV Cafe, and and a couple other people had gotten together to pull some surprises for me on the last show, and one of the coolest surprises was uh, Alethea Contis, my, my princess, sang me a, a beautiful beautiful song, um, uh, as a, as a goodbye present, and and I actually still have it. I have it in my own personal files. Yay! I'm so glad. So what I don't have is when you were a guest on my show. And I made you sing a duet with me. 
And we sang and Endless Love. And we sang so Endless great. Love. We sang Endless Love. And and you, because uh, um, you have a beautiful singing voice. You're, that's one of your other Aww, perfection it's talent not, things. It's not it's, that it great, is. Well, it's, but it's I can hold it too. Incredible. <laughs> so you sing, you, you sing like a freaking angel. And I, I'm lucky I got the line of Richie, you know, my love. There's only you in my life. You know, I just I just do the Lionel Richie thing. I'm easy. And then you hit the Diana Ross thing out of the park. And then for like a month afterwards, I'm getting all these emails and these fan mails saying, oh, my God, Alethea has the most beautiful singing voice. And I type back to every one of those sons of bitches, I believe it was a duet. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for your support. So... But uh, yeah, we should. I'll, I'll maybe we'll do a bonus episode of Dracula's Winky, uh, a the duet series, and have Gretchen singing. I'll be sure to screw up a lot. Excellent. So, Those I can record. So okay, I'll write out correct. lyrics in Gretchen speak for you. <laughs> and oh my you and, God, you and I love Drac, you. as a special as a special Easter egg, you and Drac can sing something like "Endless Love," which is <laughs> a good character. Oh, that Except for that song is like ten minutes long. Just the sing the first version part of, of that song would be great. No, just do the whole song. That'll be an episode. There you go. <laughs> Each episode's ten minutes. There you go. The special missing episode. <laughs> That's great. I like it. It's done deal. I love it. Gretchen and Drax sing "Endless Love," which would make sense for them. Yes, it would. Kind of would. So now we uh, have to. Do it. <laughs> <laughs> so that'll be the special bonus episode. You heard it here, folks. Breaking news right here oh. on After Rot, where everybody should listen. That'd be cool. Because you never know what's going to come out. And Ooh. you know, we we have to we have to mention as far as perfection. Yes. Is our sexy lady. Yes, I was yes. going to say we have another person to be mentioning as well. Our sexy lady. It's uh um, it's weird because. When we got her to do the show, every, every show begins and ends kind of like as a as bumpers for the show with our sexy lady doing an intro. And then she does the, the, the next week on Dracula's Winky. She tells you what's coming up and then mentions our sponsor for that show. And, and we actually had to sit down and say, we just can't keep calling you sexy lady. So we named her Jesse Wolf. <laughs> Because her her real name, if you look at her driver's license, it actually is Sexy Lady. Hi, lady! <laughs> so we're like, well, we just can't keep calling you that. we got to give you some kind of... So, yeah, so she, she goes by the name Jesse Wolf, uh, um, you know, to the, to the regular public. And, uh, and the end bumpers are rather always amusing. Oh, God, I'm at all the outtakes you must have from that. I mean, she's the one you tortured, Greg. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you know, she hasn't eaten pudding since. <laughs> and um, how many times did she have to say, big, big boobies? That's, well, it was, the, the, we have a different sponsor every week. Uh-huh. And, and this one was leading into Gretchen, you know, so it had to be something special. And, uh, uh, you know. The sexy lady, she she nails it. She knows how to push promos, and she knows how to uh, uh, support our sponsors correctly. Mm-hmm. And, and she she did a good job supporting big big boobies. Very. Oh man, the word just went away from me. Starts with an E. Exciting. Uh, exciting. Five five syllables. Erectitude. No, that's Erectitude. your favorite E word. Uh, elect elect. Oh man, it's mean to speak well. Elasticity. Effervescent. Oh, eloquently. Oh, El- eloquently. That one. Eloquently. Yeah, that I win. one. I win. He wins. He gets a winky gherkin. <laughs> <laughs> I curse you with the gherkin. The gherkin is in your. I'm not going there either. It's <laughs> uh, the... now Drac. You're the one yeah. who usually has to uh uh get Play with slapped the down with this. The narrator handles a lot of it, but you get you get slapped down with this. What is your favorite term so far for for uh can I say penis? I don't want to say penis. Go ahead, say penis. Yeah, okay. 
most people would call it a penis. We try to be a little bit more colorful and, and original with what we call a penis on the show. What is your favorite term so far for a penis? Well, you know, your great talent as a writer is that um, you're able to write in a way that makes it impossible for us to perform because we're all laughing the entire time. <laughs> really screws things up. That's why, we, that's why Zach has 15 freaking hours of tape. My favorite would have to be, and I think it might be from the first episode,